Hello, and welcome back. Today we are going to end this chapter by talking about a new concept. The hidden lines. All right, let's start. Imagine that you've got a technical drawing laid out in front of you. It's detailing some complex piece of machinery, like our connecting rod. Now you know how sometimes you can't see every little detail just from one angle? That's where hidden lines come into play. Hidden lines are like the secret agents of technical drawings. They're the ones that represent edges and features that are lurking behind the scenes, not visible from the current viewpoint. Now, to make sure these hidden elements don't go unnoticed, they're drawn with dashed or dotted line, unlike the solid lines you see for visible features. It's like they're saying, hey, we're here, but you might not see us right away. For example, this edge marked in red is not visible if we look at the connecting rod from this side. But to give the drawing reader a better understanding of the part, only from looking at it from the side view on the drawing, this edge is represented as a dashed line to indicate that there is an edge hidden behind the visible faces of the part when observed from this view. So, in summary, hidden lines give you a peek inside the object's structure. They show you what's going on beneath the surface, sort of like x-ray vision, but in a technical drawing. So next time you're looking at a technical drawing and you see those sneaky dashed lines, remember, they're not just decoration. They're the key to understanding what lies beneath the surface. That's it for this lecture, and for this section. In this section, you've learned the art of projection. How to skillfully translate the dimensions and details of real-world objects onto paper. You've mastered the technique of section views, unveiling the internal secrets of objects with cutting plane lines and bold strokes. Additionally, the introduction to auxiliary views has expanded your ability to present complex shapes from different perspectives. As you move forward in your technical drawing journey, remember that these skills are the building blocks for creating clear, accurate, and comprehensive drawings. Section three awaits where we'll delve into advanced topics that will further sharpen your proficiency in the language of technical drawings. So keep that pencil sharp and that curiosity alive as we embark on the next stage of our exploration in Section 3.